In this Shorty SMS review, I'm going to show you everything you need to know about the software Shorty SMS. If you have any questions, please be sure to comment them down below and I'll also be sure to leave a discount with a link down there so you can always get your money's worth for Shorty SMS. Shorty SMS is a software where you can automate SMS and MMS marketing campaigns to engage with customers, clients and leads. So this is what you should see once you're first signed into your account or even logging in again. So I'm going to quickly go through each feature and then throughout the review, I'm going to dive deeper into each feature. So I'm going to quickly go straight off the bat and start going through the sections of this software and then go through each feature more thoroughly. So straight off the bat, up in the top left hand corner, we have the Shorty SMS logo, which is actually clickable. And if you click on it, it should take you to the main page, which a lot of softwares have these days, a clickable logo, which is a cool feature. Right below that, we have this left hand panel, which is pretty much the navigation page or the navigation area for this software. We have the start here section, which we are on right now, campaigns, inbox, automated sequences, triggers, contacts, contact lists, and forms. Down in the bottom, we have other sections like your account and log out if you want to and also integrations if you want to go through them as well. So in this start here section, it says welcome and then your name, and it says if you need help starting out. You can actually just follow the checklist that they prepared for you and go ahead and go through that. But we're gonna go ahead and go through our own way and go through the features. So on the left hand side, we're gonna move onto the campaign section rather than the start here again, because we're going on our own direction. So once you click on campaigns, it opens up this section where you can go ahead and create your campaigns. Now this section is where your campaigns would show up. And then right here it says create new campaigns to the right of the campaigns word. Once you click that, you can go ahead and start creating your campaign for whatever business or thing you want to actually go ahead and create it for. And it should then start appearing here. Once you've done that, you can actually search for it in the top right if you've created multiple and start using your campaigns using the Shorty SMS software. Pretty straightforward. All you have to do is click create campaign above to create your first campaign. It tells you right there. Back to the left hand side, we are now moving on to the inbox section below the campaigns. And this section is where your inbox would be. So you have your contacts, which would be here as well. And whoever's messaging you within the software, this is where it would actually land. So you have your search contacts right there. Right below you have your replies, which would appear. We have no replies yet, again, because we don't have anyone on this software. And then this main section would be where you'd actually reply to it yourself using your keyboard and typing up your reply. Pretty straightforward. Again, you don't really need to go through this too much. It's just an inbox, like an email software as well. Pretty cool feature that it is actually integrated to this software though which actually helps the flow of the software. Right below the inbox section, we have the automated sequences. And this is again, just as straightforward as the campaign section. You go onto this and it says you have no automated sequences yet, which we don't. Click create new automation above to create your first sequence. You go ahead and click this green button that says create new automation and go through the process of creating one. Once you've done that, it should appear here where you can go ahead and start editing it and creating your automation. Back to the left hand side on the navigation bar, we are moving on to the triggers. Now this is a section where you can go ahead and actually create a trigger for this software. Triggers can be used to add a contact to a list when they reply with a specific keyword. This can be used to start automations or other actions. So it's a really intricate software. You can actually go ahead and create certain keywords that actually trigger different specific contact lists or even automations once it's actually said. So it says you have no triggers yet, click create new triggers above to create your first trigger. So once you actually go ahead and click this green button, it should open up this page where we can actually create our new trigger. So we have the trigger title, define the trigger message, and then add contacts to this list. So you go ahead and just name your title. We're gonna go ahead and name it reviews for the sake of this review. And then it says define trigger message. And then this is the message your contacts will text you to trigger an action, like an automated SMS sequence, for example. So you go ahead and type in a message or keywords that you want to actually trigger the automation. Let's say someone messages us about a business. So you go ahead and type in business. And then next you go ahead and select a contact, but we don't have any again. And finally click create. And then once you've created your trigger, if we go back to the trigger section, it would start appearing here. 
but again we didn't have a contact so we couldn't actually officially create one now we're moving on to the contact section this is where you would create your contacts and import your contacts for all of the other sections we have just been through personally i'd list this at the top so you can go for it first and then the other sections so they're prepared but it is at the bottom which is fine so it says you have no contacts yet you go ahead and then click import contacts or create contact above to create your first contact so we're going to go ahead and either click import or even export contacts and create one so because we don't actually have anyone real to import i'm going to go ahead and just click create contact this is where you'd add their first name their last name email phone and contact list so i just went ahead and filled in this information with fake information just for the sake of this review i just said mark johnson as the name email mark john at gmail.com and then random numbers for the phone numbers and we're going to go ahead and click save so now you can see that it's actually imported the contact but for you guys it would be a real contact and this is where their number would appear their name and their email you can see now what has been sent how many clicks they've done and their list and you can see actually when the contact has been added. It says contact created down here, which you can just X away. And you can also edit the contact just by clicking edit, as you can see, and also unsubscribe and delete the contact. And then add as many as you need or as many people as you know on this software, and they would all start appearing here for the other sections where you can import your contacts. And next, the contact list on the left hand side, once we click on that, we can actually create a new contact list. Again, I would list this at the top since it is featured in the other areas and it would be good to get through this first. But we're going to go ahead and go through this now. I just named it reviews again and then you'd also upload your CSV file. Once you click create list, you now have your list created where you have your contacts, campaigns and when it was added. You can go ahead and actually add your contact there or even edit and archive it and start adding your contacts to your contact list and finally go through all of the other sections we just went through that we didn't have contacts and contact lists for. We can then move on to the form section, which is actually coming soon. And that's pretty much it for this software. And there you go. That is it for the Shorty SMS software review. Overall, I think it's a really great software and there is a couple of features that I personally like. I personally like how easy it is to actually go ahead and run through this software as a beginner. I like how there's an inbox section and a contact section where you can go ahead and work with people on this software for your campaigns. And I also like how easy it is to actually create campaigns and how simplistic, again, the software is and straightforward. One thing I don't like, though, or a couple of things I'd say is, again, how the contact and the contact list aren't at the top of the navigation bar since you have to do them first before you move on to the other sections anyway. Would I recommend this to anyone? Yes, I would. There's a lot of other softwares out there like this, but this is one that could actually compete with those software. Would I use it myself? I don't really know. And again, I would use it myself if I really needed to, but there is a lot of other softwares out there like this that are competing, which again, a few features that need to be fixed. Otherwise I would use the other softwares. Overall, I do think it's a really good software though. And that's it for this review. I'll see you in the next video.